early AM fire camera. My dad showed me a story that he's got. Now it's on Facebook. I would have sent it to myself, but I don't. I don't have Facebook, and I don't. Actually, holding the phone and realizing I was in Messenger made me sick. So I threw it back at him. And and I don't know. We're not we're not going to worry about that. We'll find the story. But the story says that now this is just this is not this is hearsay until it's verified. But we're going to hope on this being true. Well, I say we, I mean at least me. I don't know what your personal opinions are. If you want to have the new world order and the deep state run your life, then maybe this isn't the news for you. But as for this house, we serve the Lord. As for this person, I believe the Lord is in within me. I don't believe him to be the external force uh, beyond that. The only external Lord I'm looking for is the, the external Lord that comes through the hearts of the other believers that are also following the Christ consciousness. That puts me slightly at odds with the church in a general sense. Slightly at odds with my fundamental faith. But nonetheless, that's what I believe. I think that the church has... Hold on, let me, let me get to the news. So they said that Obama was arrested... He was arrested for espionage. Him and some CIA friend of his from the Honolulu office named uh, Eli Miranda, I think they said the name was, had um, been selling uh, above top secret secrets to China. Now, this is not surprising because we know that this is a this is uh, what they like to do since they're all New World Order Democrats are really about making that one world government, the globalism. They want to have a Chinese style um, basically world. They want to kill most of us off and they're going through the Great Reset right now, which is Mainly a test, a test to see how people will respond before the dimensional shift, which I agree with Scott Mandelker on that, and I don't know when the dimensional shift would be either, but I do find it to be a test of uh, how we respond and how we treat each other. But, you know, a lot of these um, these monsters that are in the um, upper echelon of our society, they've been... They've been corrupt the whole fucking time. You know, I'm not above reproach myself. There's things that I do that isn't always on the up and up. But I try to do better. I try to be a better person every day. And I try not to harm, any, harm anyone. Lest they harm me. So that's about where I'm coming from. I look at other people as if they are myself. From an empathic point of view, I perceive other people's emotions, sometimes not knowing that they're not mine. But other than that, I'm pretty relaxed. And I don't want anyone to be harmed. Um, I have a great disdain for people that are just fundamentally stupid. But I still try to share with them and, and help them see things that I know the world isn't on the surface. You wouldn't get what the fuck is going on here from the surface level. I understand that. And I try to bring a point of view to different people, customized even. I'm good at this with my friends. I'm good at showing them things that they wouldn't notice that are quite apparent and bowed heavily upon their their experience. I'm good at that. I don't know why. Just am. And I like to do it. But 
even um, Obama, if he's arrested for treason, which I think he is treasonous. I think he did more during his time as president to dismantle the power of America than anything else. And I'm not going to say that I'm a Republican, but I, I lean more towards that than the Democrat. And I'm, I'm a long haired hippie motherfucker. Not like the tree hugging hippie. I like guns and weapons and shit like that, but I'm not trying to kill no one. But I definitely will fuck you up if you fuck with my family or you fuck with my shit. I'm not above fucking you up. And I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I have profound emotions. And I wear them on my shoulder. I try not to be too reactive to shit. Although... I'm working on it. I'm trying to respond instead of react. But, and then the other note is that Joseph Biden's ankle monitor is really why they said he broke his his foot or whatever playing with the dog. So, possible fake news? I don't know. They said it was on the Justice Department's thing. But... I don't know. I just hope that that is true. I'm not saying it's 100%. This is uh, at, at the point now, it's still sort of speculatory, but I want to share that. All right. Peace out.